Welcome Seekers! You have made it to the Tarot Magician's channel. My name is Ricardo Gallart, and today I bring you another pick a card tarot reading. And in this one, this one is kind of special. In this one, uh, we're just gonna pretty much just talk about what your future person wants to tell you. This is a love letter from your future person. Very special, okay? Uh, this could be anyone. Anyone that you can possibly think of, maybe uh, your future husband, future wife, uh, just future person. And the process is very simple. In front of you, we have four groups. This is group one, this is group two, group three, and group four. I'm going to give you a moment so that you can pick one of these groups. If multiple groups call to you, then by all means, uh, whichever one, whichever group calls to you the most, Please fast forward to that group. The timestamps are going to be in the description, and I'm going to give you a moment. All right, welcome, group number one. So, for group number one, we always have a theme card. This, this is going to be the theme of this reading of this love letter. And the very first card is intuition. Ooh, okay. Now, the message of intuition is listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Uh, interesting. So this is uh, more of a guidance this, uh, that your future uh, person is sending you. You know, this is a this is a love letter, and in essence, they want to tell you beautiful things. Um, but this this card is essentially more of a uh, listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, listen to to what's going on around you. Uh, use divination tools if necessary. That's the tarot. Um, just anything that you know that that you can possibly maybe connect with, maybe runes, whatever calls to you the most. That is the message of this card. Now. Let's go ahead and put more cards around this one to try and get a general understanding of what else is being told. What messages? Let's see. All right. So we have here a uh, door to personal healing and happiness and financial constraints. Okay. Um, so that this makes some sense. I think that your uh, future uh, person, your, your special person, is number one telling you that there's a lot of good things coming your way financially. Um, you're, you're definitely going to be coming into this healing, uh, this happiness, and this door to prosperity. Uh, that is what I see with this door to healing. And then we have financial constraints, which adds a little clarity into the intuition, uh, use tarot, use divination tools to help you decide. Um, so there's definitely, I feel that right now you might be going through some decision making. You don't know what option to take, uh, what you should do, uh, where you should go and how you should approach uh, a financial decision. Your future uh, person is telling you to use these tools of divination uh, and that they will guide you and, and it, they'll help you. Um, so definitely a very strong message. Um, there is, from what I see here, uh, love. There is definitely prosperity coming. Now, I want to go ahead and throw some tarot and um, we're going to use the Art Nouveau Tarot. Let's take a look here. All right. So the Art Nouveau Tarot. Let's see and try and get a general understanding of what else needs to be said. All right. So we have here some very special energies. Um, we have the Two of Cups, which is the card of love, 
It's the card of the two lovers coming together. Um, we also have the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Uh, so we have the ultimate card of truth, and then we have the card of deceit using words, lies, and uh, in, all, in all essence, it's malevolence uh, manifesting in gossip. So uh, one thing that I'm noticing here is your future person is telling you that they truly, truly love you that they, they really, really care for you and, and they're working and carving out a reality in order to, to make things better. Now, there's some gossip going on around you. Uh, there's definitely some uh, malice, some, some bad words being used and uttered. Um, and your special someone is telling you to not pay much attention to that. Um, that under, understand that you have and what you're doing and, and the things that you're choosing to follow and the things that you're choosing to to maybe uh, partake in. Um, it is just you have this honesty and you have this uh, sort of truth. So you're being told to, in all fairness, to, to grasp onto that sort of truth and to keep speaking it. Don't be, um, don't let your light be dimmed by all of this gossip and all of this bad uh, baggage that comes with this. So in essence, they're telling you to be filled with love, to have a, a deep understanding, to, to know that there is definitely something very special coming for you. Uh, and and you know, it could very well be them. They, this letter is from them. So there is this love, there is this understanding, there is this uh, communion uh, from what I'm seeing here. Uh, so very very nice nice message with the ace of swords and the 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 two of cups now let's go ahead and do more uh, a deeper reading on this energy here and see what it is and what needs to be said and you know what let's go ahead and use the moonology oracle cards the Monology Oracle cards, they have a special message written on them. That's why I like them. So we will use them. Let's see. It's more about this situation. Communication is key. Oh boy, look at that. Communication is key. That is quite special. That is quite, quite special. Um, you are being told to speak your truth. Uh, this is the time to talk. This is the time to come out and truly speak about what you're feeling, uh, what you want, uh, being honest about the decisions that you've made, uh, and just all around understand that you are in the right. You definitely are in the right. And it's time for you to speak. It's time for you to say what you feel and, and understand that there's also, even though there's this gossip and, and dark energy around you, there's also this sense of love around you right now. And this love is manifesting in a very positive, positive way. It's going to manifest in, in healing and happiness. And the key to reaching that, that healing and happiness is through communication. Because if you, if you don't communicate, if you don't say what you need to say, then what's going to happen is that everything is going to boil and things are just going to get worse and there's going to be more bickering and there's going to be, you know, one thing about the Seven of Swords, it's also a, a card of your own self, right? So you're perhaps going through these bad thoughts and you're you're definitely adding to it. You're not, you're not, you're not, um, you're not making the right decision by just holding in all of these negative emotions. It's important for you to communicate them. So, you know, if somebody perhaps has wronged you or perhaps uh, there's some misunderstandings going on with your family, uh, maybe even with your friends, it's important for you to communicate it, to speak your truth. And once you do that, things are going to start falling into place for you much easier. Um, and you are going to, in some way, uh, reach this place of healing and happiness and everything is going to be back to normal and it will be just bliss really it's what I'm seeing um, 
So, you know, you don't have to worry about these things. You, you definitely just have to keep doing what you're doing. This ace is right in the center, which tells me that you are someone who knows what to say and when to say it. So you're a very discreet person. Uh, I also get this feeling that you're, you, you tend to keep to yourself a lot of things. And I think that that's, what's, that's one of the things that's going on here. Um, you know, your future person just wants you to know that they love you, they really care about you deeply, and uh, they're coming for you. And um, this relationship that we see here in the Two of Cups, uh, Two of Cups, Two of Cups, it's the relationship that you two will have in some uh, uh, future, uh, in a reality for you. It's it's definitely something that's it's going to happen. Um, now let's do. All right, so we're gonna throw some more tarot. I want to talk. I want to see about this financial constraint here, energy card that we have. I want to see what what the deal with that is. And for this, we're gonna use the. Uh, this is one of the newer tarot decks. I really like this one. It's very nice. I love the artwork. This is uh, the Star Tarot, the second edition Star Tarot. Let's get a better understanding. Oh, and before we even go any further, I want to show you guys something. Um, I'm going to be showcasing, or not showcasing, I've already used it in other readings, but I'm going to use these cards at the very end. These are messages, okay? Deep, deep messages directly from them. Um, so, it's going to be fun. I'm going to use those towards the very end of the reading for you seekers. But first, more clarity on financial constraints. What is it? What's coming? Why? So, with these financial constraints, and what I am seeing here with it, um, is that you are definitely in a place of, or you were in a, in a place of growth. Uh, you were definitely working towards something, and you felt really good about that project. You were, you felt okay, you felt like everything was going to come into uh, some kind of, uh, of normalcy in your life and you were going to start reaping the benefits from it. Um, perhaps something got in the way of that or perhaps there was uh, a people who just didn't do very well by you. They, they might have, uh, you know, just been a little too much or they might have uh, lied to you or you might have just spent a little too much money on, on certain people that you shouldn't have. Um, and right now, you know, I see that you you reach or you have reached this sense of uh, responsibility, and that responsibility is going to take you into the next uh, phase in your life, which is the Four of Swords, which pretty much speaks about uh, calmness, uh, just not having any worries, just uh, you know, resting, resting in your power, resting in, in, in what you know and the knowledge that you've uh, pretty much fought for. So that is the message that I see here. It was curious that we got that financial constraint. Um, one thing that I'm seeing is that once this person comes, they're going to help immensely. Okay, that's why I see this Hierophant. So the Hierophant signifies marriage. So this is for uh, you know a, a subset of you who perhaps are you know uh, this this future person that we're talking about perhaps is someone who you see romantically or or you know or definitely someone who you see maybe marrying. So for you guys, I see that the marriage is going to bring about a lot of prosperity, a lot of great things, a lot of structure in your financial life. So it's this is telling you not to worry about that. Um, this is telling you to rest. This is telling you to be at peace with where you are now and understand that this union, this love, uh, it's going to help. It's going to help in that financial area. So no worries there. Um, and the reason I'm, I'm focusing so much on the finances is because I, I got the financial constraints card. Uh, so I wanted to, to get some clarity on that. And um, we got it. So we have the hero font, 
which signals marriage and it signals a time where you don't have to worry the everything is in place the structure is in place the temple has been blessed and you will reap a reward from it and everything will be stable you're going to have your home and um, you're going to be happy this marriage is going to bring what this card is showing the door to personal healing and happiness so it's a very welcoming message um, let's talk about communication is key so we'll go ahead and we'll try and get some clarity on that and see exactly what that's all about and for that we're going to use the witch's tarot let's get some clarity So, you know, I'm, I'm seeing with these cards immediately that you've exhausted yourself. There's definitely been a situation that's been going on uh, where you are depleted. And um, you've just depleted all of your energy, um, even your resources. There's been this sense of uh, miscommunication, perhaps not uh, truly, truly uh, seeing things for what they are and then just things being left unsaid and there's been some problems and I see that this is more in the family realm so this is a family this is uh, definitely um, people who you are around a lot and it's leading towards this sense of they're really not interested or they really don't care or there's no love there's no comprehension and there's this feeling of just boredom and uh, a feeling of almost despair is what I'm seeing here. Uh, and that feeling of despair, it's going to exhaust you. So it's important for you to communicate. Communicate as much as you can. Let them know exactly how you feel. Don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. Don't just uh, let it go. Come back and talk. Talk, talk, talk. And things will definitely uh, be better. Uh, that is what I'm seeing here communication is key and that's literally what the moon card is saying communication is key so communicate your truth communicate your truth in every single way every single aspect and things are going to work out very well for you now now comes the exciting part <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do the cards let's go ahead and do it Shuffle. We're going to throw three cards. These are pretty much direct messages from this future person of yours. Let's see what they want to tell you. First one out. It's impossible to forget you. Aha. So this message, it's impossible to forget you, goes hand in hand with this two of cups. And it goes hand in hand with this door to personal healing. Um, they they end also the hero font this person this future person of yours and this is not for everyone but this future person of yours um, definitely thinks of you very very highly they care about you uh, they they've just they've been really really yearning for someone and um, let's see why let's throw the other two cards before I give you more information I'll, I'll definitely summarize it towards the end and what I feel and see uh, but let's take a look. So let's shuffle and throw two more. Okay. And... Here we are. To me, you are perfect is the other card. Interesting. And let's throw one more. here if I can get it we have met before in another life Ooh, that's interesting all right so now that now this makes sense so let's talk about this so uh, the first message is it's impossible to forget you and then it's followed by to me you are perfect and then we have met before in another life so immediately the the keywords that I'm getting is soul contract soul contract 
there's definitely a, a mission that you two are here to fulfill and this has been written in the stars it's definitely something that you both are going to come together and do you're going to bring a lot of prosperity to the world now it makes sense um you both have reincarnated in the past together and now you're here you know this is why we have the two of cups together too um the hero font is signaling marriage so it's signaling uh, this binding almost spiritual energy of coming together and teaching and inspiring the next generation of people so definitely i get the feeling that both of you are hard workers um, you're definitely two artistic people that bring about change do you want to change things um it's it's a beautiful thing here because it, you know we have met before in another life and then it's impossible to forget you so this person even though you haven't met them they're yearning to meet you they're definitely yearning to meet you um, their spirit is crying out for you. They're, they don't feel complete if they don't have you around. So it's impossible to forget you. To me, you are perfect. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. You can't do anything wrong in this person's eyes. They will always, always love you. Always. Um, it might lead to exhaustion. Um, you know, I definitely... They want to help you. They want to try and, and get some uh, of uh, this kind of baggage or load off off of you because, you know, they're seeing that you are someone who puts a lot on you. You you definitely put way too much responsibility on yourself and they're trying to let you know that, hey, I see you. This is who you are. You always put too much on you. Um, don't worry, relax, rest. That's why we have the Four of Swords here. Relax, rest, uh, and just lie and stay within that, within your power. And you're going to see transformation. You're going to see a lot of great things. Um, and, you know, we have met before in another life. That just pretty much kind of cements everything. This is destined. You two have a soul contract. And when you come together, it should transform the world to make it a better place, to not leave it the same. So this is very beautiful group one. That is all I see here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you have not done so already. Um, please give me a like. Uh, I will be creating new pick a card videos soon. Uh, please with the like, that helps a lot. I opened up an Etsy shop. So if you uh, seekers are interested in your own private reading, please check my Etsy shop. Uh, you'll find the link in the description below. If you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, you'll find an Amazon affiliate link in the description. Please use those links, seekers. It helps me grow the channel and be able to provide you with quality content. Thank you for all the great comments you seekers leave me. I read them all. Thank you for your support and love. If uh, you have anything that you can provide me with, any advice, uh, any details about the channel that you like to maybe have changed, please do hashtag pick a card in the comment section. That way I can find you and, and take those ideas and try to actually uh, make it a reality for you seekers in this channel. Thank you once again for all the love you seekers have given me. And I hope everyone has a great day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye. Welcome, group number two. All right. So the very first card, this is going to be the theme of this reading. Um, and it's from the Oracle cards, the unicorns. And the very first card that we have here is passion. Ooh. So this message is of passion from your future person is definitely a strong one. They're telling you to do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Boy, oh boy, that's a special one. They want you to get excited. They want you to increase your energy. They want you to just be filled with life. Now, towards the end of the reading, I have something special for you, Seekers. I'm going to go ahead and throw uh, these cards and, uh, you know, these are cards that I made. They have special messages. And I will go ahead and throw three of these towards the end. Okay, so stay tuned. And um, that's going to be more of a direct message from your future person. Now, let's put more cards around this one and try and get a general understanding of 
what is this uh, fire that they want you to have for life? Um, what what message? What what more do they have to give? And for that, we're going to use the Star Tarot Second Edition. All right. So we have two sevens: seven of wands, seven of cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. So interesting energies here. What I am seeing with these cards, and then we also have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, what I am seeing with this card is that you have been working diligently on something. Definitely, you've tried very hard. Um, there's been many decisions that have been presented to you. Um, this has pretty much, in some way, somehow, it's depleted you. It's taken away some of your energy. It's left you feeling less of. And your future person is telling you to let go of that and be filled with the energy that life has to give. This is the time to be excited about your projects. Uh, this is definitely a time to get fired up about your life. So with the Seven of Wands, I definitely see someone who has vanquished and has uh, decided on something. So decision making, um, make sure to, to, to pick if you're if you're not sure of what to do, and this could be for any situation, make sure that you are decisive. So lean on your intuition. That's why we have the seven of cups and the nine of pentacles. You are resourceful. You are very intelligent. You know what to do in certain situations. So do that. Don't just lay dormant and expect for things to materialize around you. You have to be that fire. You have to take decisive action. And then once you make the decision to do something, then things will start materializing. You'll start seeing things clearer. Uh, so that's the message here from your uh, future person. You must decide. You must make a decision. You must move in the revelation uh, that, hey, this is what I want for my life. Uh, but always remember that with whatever decision you make, it must come from a place of excitement, of energy, of love, uh, a place of just contentment for what life has to offer. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is telling us that you are definitely someone who is building a good future for yourself. You're someone who knows and, and has decided on something. And you are an entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur of sorts. You are maybe even a venture capitalist. You're someone who has tamed the beast within. Now, with that taming of the beast within, it's kind of led to you burning out. And it's right now time to be reinvigorated. It's time for you to tap into that passion, into that energy. Um, now, let's find out how. How is it that you're going to tap into that energy? And for that, we're going to use one of the Moonology cards here. It's a part of the Oracle deck that I have. See if we can get some understanding from these cards. We've got one. Hmm. Conclusions are within reach. <laughs> okay. So this card is telling you that um, you must cut off some people. You must definitely let go of some energies. Uh, there's It goes hand in hand with the decision making. I see that you are someone that people come to. You are definitely someone who people want around you are in the company of many uh people want your energy they 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 seek you out and here's the thing they you give too much to these people uh they've depleted you they've definitely depleted you uh you've given it doesn't have to be people it could be a project you are an entrepreneur you are a venture capitalist you're someone with ideas you're someone who's always i i see someone in 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 um in the light. I definitely see you in front of people a lot. So, you know, when that happens, 
every time there's this expectancy that they, they place on you and they expect for you to perform they expect for you to come up and and be something different and and to just do something totally rad right well that has uh played a role in this energy depletion and it's now time to correct that it's now time for self-care it's time for you to understand that you are the most important thing in this world right now that's the message the the message at its core from your future person is you are the most important person in the world right now and um, it's time for you to take care of yourself uh, it's time for you to start doing things for you and let's go ahead and throw some energy cards let's see how what else you can do to to make this a reality we're going to throw these energy cards i really do like these they always give good insight into situations so let's take a look Ooh, ho 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 yes look at that look at that look at that we have two archangels showing their faces okay that's powerful okay that and it's powerful in so many ways um, the reason why these angels are showing their faces is because you have a very strong 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 purpose in this life um, Gabriel's the angel of communication Raphael is the angel of healing and to me when these two angels come together it's telling of someone who heals other people with their words and uh, you are that person um, you are that person and you have from what I see here an even deeper deeper purpose than you can possibly imagine and for some reason I just get this feeling that you have been feeling like you don't you've been feeling like there's some lack you've been feeling like maybe a person without direction you don't know what you're gonna do next and that happens, right? With venture capitalists, you know, idea people, they want to move forward, move, 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 move. And then, you know, they, they don't know what to do next and, and, and what to expect. And there's always uh, this sense of, okay, what's next? Can I find the direction that I need to go in? And will that direction be where I, where I am going to excel? Is this what I'm destined to do? Um, so with these two angels, I also see that they are helping you um they're definitely here there's this magical energy surrounding you and that's because you are someone of great importance you've come to this world to change it and not leave it the same you've come to this world to expand uh a higher level of consciousness if that makes sense to you and you are definitely going to benefit from this greatly you're going to see a lot of uh, not only finances and wealth and prosperity, which you'll take to reinvest in the in, in your pursuits and to grow your 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 empire and reach more people. Um, also, I see philanthropy in your in your future as well. Um, so, let's focus on what this future person really wants to tell you. At the core here is self-care. If you need to call out to a higher power, call out to that higher power to spirit. Call out to the angels. Remember the name Raphael, Gabriel. Remember them. Um, call out to these angelic forces. And definitely understand that there is this guidance for you. And there's this eye that's watching you very closely. That's monitoring everything that you're doing. And it's definitely a very loving, soothing energy that's with you. Um, it's it's an encouraging energy. You're gonna you've probably been been seeing numbers everywhere. Um, hone in on those numbers. Those numbers mean something. Um, they could be angelic numbers. They could be master numbers. Uh, but look into the the numerology meaning of those numbers, and you're going to get a more deeper understanding of what it is that these angels want from you, and and what your purpose in life truly is. What um, what, why is it that you're doing what you're doing and why is it that you're having trouble and ultimately who is it that you're going to help? 
and let's go ahead and throw more cards trying to decide on which deck to use we'll go ahead and we'll use the witch's tarot okay now let's go ahead and ask what's the advice what other messages for you to reach this place of passion and, and reinvigorating that fire <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's that's the, this is very lovely. Um, the message and, and again, this is this reading is for your future person. For some of you, it's your future husband, your future wife. Uh, you know, some of you, it's your, uh, just a friend, partnership. But this person I see here, this is your lover. This is definitely someone that. Um, loves you and I do see they come to us as a man it's king of pentacles now of course you know if you're a man that's watching this then obviously um, you know it could be uh, a woman but this person is someone who has an infinite amount of wealth and prosperity within them they are people who have moved through life very successfully and they're definitely people who are going to transform everything around them. Now, your union together will bring about almost this sense of tripling this prosperity. They're going to add to what it is that you've already been giving the world and, and the people around you. Uh, they're going to multiply that in ways that you can't see now, obviously, but... It will be self-evident once you do meet them and you do get a feel for what they do career-wise and, uh, you know, what they're involved in and, and just the, the company that they choose to keep around. You're going to notice something very special about this uh, future person of yours. And it's going to lead you towards this place of just rest, tranquility, and, you know, your love, your union is one of beauty. We have the lover's card here, okay? We have the lover's card. So uh, there is definitely something special. There's this sense of no matter what, I will always love you. And there is this also this angelic force that's pulling you two together because of some kind of just contract. Or It's funny because Group 1 also had this same thing. But there is definitely an angelic force that's pulling you together. And the reason I say this is because in the lover's card... You have an angel. It's funny enough, this is a completely different tarot deck, but you have the angel in the background, which is signaling the divine, and then you have the union of the two here at the bottom. So what this is telling us is that these two angels, these two magnificent, magnificent energies are bringing this union together. They're, they're working um, in unison, and it's definitely going to come uh, much quicker than you think. So... Uh, a very powerful, very strong energy. And you don't, from what I'm seeing here, is you don't have to worry about anything that has to do with love at this moment. You just have to worry about yourself, self-healing, recuperating your energy. Um, I don't know why you're burnt out. It's not very evident. You know why. Um, at the beginning, you know, I, I did see that there was people just that's, that are depleting your energy, um, but then there's also, for some of you, it's work. It's just work. Everything around you, everything that you're doing, uh, work is exhausting you. And you just feel like you can't give more of yourself. Or at least that part of yourself that you should be giving or that you want to give to the world, uh, to your other projects. Uh, but the message here is to rest. You have the Four of Swords. Rest. Take some time. Um, you know, maybe stay home, self-care, uh, and just take that time, take that approach. It's not always about what's next, what's next, what's next. What's next is you. What's next is healing. Um, definitely, definitely self-care is what's ringing through here. Very dynamic. Uh, so now, uh, let's go ahead and throw the messages. This is everyone's favorite moment. Uh, these are, I'm going to throw three cards. These are direct messages from your future person. Let's see what those messages are. We'll shuffle. 
and then we'll take oh we will meet again soon what did I tell you what did I tell you seekers I told you that this was gonna happen much quicker than you think this union well now we have confirmation we will meet again soon now here's the thing with this message it's 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 like a double message because it's telling you that you've already met right now that can very well be that you've met in a different life uh, I did say that I saw some kind of a, of a contract between the two of you a soul contract and what that means is that you've met in, another, in another life and you've chosen to reincarnate in this one to work together towards a fulfillment of something um, that which is definitely which definitely makes a lot of sense because you have these two energies here Raphael and Gabriel uh, and then the lovers card with the angel right above it bringing you together so um, I'm leaning towards soul contract uh, a purpose for you to being here let's go ahead and shuffle a little two more of these I want the world look at that all right this is a person of high ambitions okay high 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 ambitions and I think you understand this sentiment you you two have have definitely met um, already and um, I, I keep thinking already and and also in the past life so this is definitely maybe someone that um, is around you maybe someone that you know uh, but there's just this feeling that their energies are around and they want the world so I can see that they definitely want to be in the public's eye they want to just manifest greatness like you can't believe um, and that manifestation of greatness is is something that I think calls to you 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 definitely want that too um, so this future person is telling you I'm the I'm the one to do it you know, and it's funny that I put it right under the King of Pentacles, because this is, in this whole reading, with all these cards that we have in front of here, if there's someone that is, or if there's a card that is definitely representing this person, is is the King, the King of Pentacles. This is a King. Uh, so this is someone who's just filled with wealth. Wealth in just any area of life. They're the full package. Um they can do anything they can talk about anything they can just simply they just have so much knowledge you know though there's just this never ending vastness to them they they'll surprise you with anything which is definitely interesting um now or at least that's what the world sees in them to them they're just normal people but the world definitely sees something in them that is special and, and it's, it's interesting because I feel like they don't even see it in themselves, which is why they're giving you this advice of passion, of fire, uh, you know, excitement, increase your energy levels. They're going to need that from you when, when you two meet again, which is why they're telling you to be that way. Um, and also there's going to be a swift resolution to whatever problems you two are fa or you are facing at this moment because we have conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse uh, so that is telling you that whatever problems you might be facing they're going to be met with a, with a, just a swift quick end um, all right let's throw one more card one more message one more magical message from your future person what is it <laughs> my love is never ending Again, very dynamic, very dynamic message, okay? Um, you two have met. You two have definitely met. You know each other. And you love each other. Um, and they know that you are somehow depleted. You know, there's been a... I can't see what that situation is, unfortunately. But, you know, if you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about, obviously. But there's been a situation that has depleted you and has just taken a lot of of energy from you and left you feeling weak and drained like you don't even know what to write you don't know what to say you don't know what to do um, there's just too many possible outcomes and you've weighed all of those possible outcomes and you don't know you're exhausted so um, what this is telling you here is you two are lovers 
okay? Uh, you've met before, you've been husband and wife in another life. Uh, that's why you're so connected to each other. That's why you can't get this person out of your head. Um, I'm almost convinced that you know who this person is for some of you. Okay, this isn't for all of you. Obviously, there's so many people watching this. It can't be the same thing for all of you. But for some of you, you've already met this person. And you have them in your head right now for a subset of you. You have them in your head. Uh, some of you might not know, but you've already met them. And for another, for another portion of you, uh, you will, in essence, um, run into them very soon because conclusions are within reach. It's, it's the message here. Uh, just remember what the general message is, though. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. My love is never ending. So this person is definitely someone that has just this infinite, infinite uh, amount of just love for you. And um, they want you. They want the world. They want everything. If you have high ambitions, <laughs> you have no idea what this person's ambitions are. This person wants the world. And you know this. You see that you see it in them. It's almost like if, if you've already met them, you see the world in them. Uh, you definitely see something very, very uh, just intrinsic, some very intrinsic values in this person for the for the few that have actually met this person. Um, but yeah, that is what I see. That is that those are the messages. Um, please, seekers, I ask you to please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will be creating more pick a card videos soon. Please give me a like. That helps a lot. I opened an Etsy shop, so please go to the Etsy shop. Uh, I do have my my link at the bottom of the page for that Etsy shop. Also, if you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, you'll find the links in the description. Please use those link seekers if you're going to be shopping uh, in Amazon. It helps me just grow the channel, provide you with quality content. Thank you for the great comments you seekers leave me. I read them all. Thank you for your support, for your love. Um, if you have any ideas for the channel, anything that I can use that you would like for me to change, please use hashtag pick a card in the, the, in the, in the comments section so that I can find those suggestions. That really helps. Uh, that way I can just go ahead and you know give you seekers exactly what it is that you want. Um, so please do that for me. Thank you once again. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Bye-bye. All right. Welcome, group number three. All right. So what we have here is the theme of the reading. We're using the Unicorn Oracle cards. Now, before we get started, I, I forgot to mention it at the very beginning. I am going to be using these cards okay these are messages that are going to are just direct messages from your future person uh you know i miss you so just direct messages that's going to be towards the very end of the reading and this is the theme right here okay this is the theme now let's see what it is what messages does your uh future person want to give you and that is ooh, <laughs> miracles that is special. Miracles. And this reads, have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. That is strong. Okay. That is very strong. Your future person is telling you to pretty much surrender to the process of life and understand that you are going to be manifesting. You're going to be coming into some incredible luck. Things are going to start clicking for you, clicking for you in every way. You're going to start seeing miracles all around you, or at least they're going to feel like miracles. But that's what incredible luck feels like, uh, miracles. Now, let's go ahead and get a, a general feeling of, of what this is going to look like for you. What other messages do they have, this uh, future person that they have for you? Let's take a look. What else? What else? What else? True. Oh boy. We've got an archangel, ladies and gentlemen. Every time I get an archangel, I get excited because um, what archangels tell me is that you are being guided in in the most beautiful way. Um, you have this this guardian angel 
by your side that's uh, shifting things, strategizing, which we also here have the strategy card, right? So there is definitely this sense of strategy. There is this sense of uh, moving the pieces in order to, for a, a quick resolution or for you to see this luck and this blessing manifested much quicker. And that is what I'm seeing with these two cards together, this strategy and then this Archangel Metatron. So we have some very strong angelic forces uh, showing their faces here for you. And, um, you know, it's interesting because it's ask your future person is asking you to believe in miracles. Um, so I'm getting, I'm just, I get this feeling that whoever's watching this have, has entered into some kind of maybe uh, low-key, mild depression. Um, perhaps you've been very nihilistic. You don't believe that things are going to work out. Um, maybe you've given up on something, uh, maybe a project that you've been working at. Um, don't do that. Your future person is telling you that things are going to start shifting around you, okay? You're going to start seeing miracles. You're going to start seeing prosperity. Don't give up. Don't surrender um, this mentality that you've had of growth, of magic, of love. Um, let's go ahead and throw more cards. Very interesting here. We're going to use the Art Nouveau Tarot deck. And I'm interested to know what other messages... You know, I want to know about you at this point. I want to ask about the person watching this, if we can get some more insight into your situation at this moment, why you're being given this message from your future self. Man, you definitely put a lot of pressure on yourself, huh? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. You put a lot of pressure on yourself. A lot. Uh, a lot of reversals here. You put an incredible amount of pressure on yourself, and that's leading to a very nihilistic mindset. Okay, you almost feel like uh, it's not enough. You just you're not enough. You you don't see your value. You don't see just how special you are, and you don't see how 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 valuable you are to other people. You feel like what you're doing is just wrong. You feel like you're not doing things how you should. You feel like you are lacking. Uh, you just, you're not in balance at the moment. You, you feel out of balance, which is why we have the Judgment card reversed. We have the Page of Pentacles reversed. We have the Four of Cups reversed. All of this immediately tells me, it's a resounding, I am not enough. I have failed. That is the message I'm getting here. And um, your future person wants you to know that that is a very crippling mentality. Not only is it crippling, but it's it's keeping you stuck. Um, you, it's not true, essentially. That's what, that's the real message here. It's not true. It's definitely something that you've told yourself that you're feeling. Um, and it's interesting. Let's find out why it is that you're feeling this way. And for that, we're going to use the Green Witch's Tarot. Let's see why you're feeling this way. Ah. Oh, we have two threes. That's interesting. Okay, so we... No, we have the five. I'm sorry. Five of wands. People. Projects. Okay. Three of wands and the five of wands. Both reversed. Okay. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, you have... You failed in some in some projects. And here's the thing. It's not really failing, right? You feel like you failed, but it, it's not really failing. You've just gone through a period of learning, and you feel like perhaps you could have done better. You could have maybe made wiser decisions. Um, this could be in school. It could be a, a, a job. It could be a relationship. It could be anything, really. Um, but you definitely feel like you've done wrong and you've maybe been this person who's just been this terrible human being and for some reason you've just put a lot of pressure on yourself you've put a lot of pressure on yourself to perform and to do something greater uh, than what you're doing now it's all wrong okay 
um, don't feel that way. I'm not saying that you are wrong. I'm just saying that this mentality of lack, this mentality of I can't do it, this mentality of I failed, that's wrong. Um, because you are someone who is, in essence, guided by something great. And sometimes when you're being guided by this higher being, higher energy, um, you have to see some things. You have to experience some setbacks. Because if you don't experience those setbacks, then it's very difficult for you to see the miracles. You know, it's very, how, how can you know what a miracle looks like? How can you know what good luck looks like? unless you've been on the other side of that miracle, on the other side of that luck, right? In order to understand what one thing looks like, you have to experience it. And I know you're, what you're saying. Well, I, you know, I've read about it. I know what bad looks like. Yeah, sure, you've read about it. Um, you have knowledge. You don't have the wisdom. You haven't lived it. You haven't experienced it. And that is where true, true, true self-realization comes into play. That is where true growth starts manifesting um in the in, in in the experience in the journey in the oh my god this just happened to me now what right that's where the true true experience and the true transformation comes the let's not forget what the core message here is miracles that is the key word that is the resounding key word here miracles why is that important because you're going to start seeing them they're going to start seeing, uh, feeling like miracles. Now, let's talk about these miracles. I want to see what these miracles are going to look like for you. And for that, we're going to use the Star Tarot. This is actually my newest tarot deck. I love it. It's so cool with the artwork and everything. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and see what these miracles are going to start looking like for you. And uh, what other messages your future person has. That one wanted to come out. <laughs> Miracles. First one is the Queen of Cups. And then the second one... Oh, wow! That's awesome. We have the Queen of Cups. And then we have the King of Wands. Interesting. So let me bring those up to you. So these, this is what the Miracles are going to start looking like for you. You have these two energies here. This uh, King of Cups this king of wands and when you put these two uh this king and this queen together it's a union it's a union of a man and a woman it's uh what i see is marriage and i see a fulfillment of some kind of higher power higher purpose um whoever's watching this the person that you are going to be with the your significant other that person is going to bring you such joy, such prosperity. Um, they're going to teach you so much about yourself. You're going to see yourself in them. There's going to be so much love and understanding and growth that it's going to feel magical. It's going to feel like you've been blessed beyond what you feel you deserve. It's going to feel like a miracle, this union. Um, so... You know, I wanted to see if maybe this miracle was going to be in finances and any other area, but really it's just simpler than that. There's a sense of finding a partner that you are going to pretty much get everything that you've asked for in this person. They are going to become that for you. And it's going to just manifest in such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ways. You both are going to click so well together. Um, you're going to do many things together. Um, and it's definitely going to be a sense of true, true growth, uh, uh, true prosperity, um, understanding. And, um, you know, it, it's it's something truly beautiful. It, it, it is definitely truly beautiful. Let me throw another card. I want to try and get maybe some more keywords for you. And for that, we're going to use the Moonology. The Moonology, I like this Oracle deck because it has key words that we can use, that we can apply to the reading. Every card does, but, you know, I like these. Let's see. Just, we'll throw one. <laughs> Work through your fears. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, come on. That is definitely something, right? Work through your fears. So, your future person is bringing us right back to what the theme is and to these issues 
work through your fears. Uh, so what this is telling me is that it's important for you to understand what area or, or where you are in life at this moment. And it's important for you to come to the, the realization that um, life is not just a straight line. There's a lot of curves. There's definitely a lot of uh, moments uh, where you have to step up and you have to show something of yourself that wasn't there before or that you had no idea was there. Um, why is this important? Because once you two meet, it's definitely going to take this relationship is going to just take on a whole new uh, life of its own. It's 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 going to be this magical feeling, and and that feeling should not be shrouded in any kind of fear. Um, there's definitely a sense of boldness that's going to be that's being asked of you, and that boldness may be you know this boldness could be in. Um, whatever you fear so if you fear going out into the world maybe you should expose yourself a little more let's just break it down to the simplest ways if you fear going into some woods connecting with nature um, I'm keeping it very simple but you know what your fears are and what your future person is telling you to do is to work through those fears why because you're gonna see miracles you're going to see things manifesting for you like you've never seen them before. And it will feel magical. It's going to feel special. It's going to feel like something that you've never felt before. And that is definitely going to help you. You're going to, it's just going to be something very magical. And um, that is what I see truly. So, you know, don't fret. Don't feel like you're less. Don't feel like you have to uh, overcompensate for anything. I want to throw another Moonology card, just to kind of cement. I want, I want more. I want more. I get this feeling of one more. What else? What else, future person? <laughs> Luck is on your side. I mean, come on. Luck is on your side. So it's funny because for some reason I, I just felt it deep in my heart that I was going to get a card that um, was going to talk about luck and miracles. Um, and now here we have it. So and I, the reason I felt it is because when I, when I said or when this card came out of, of vanquishing your fears, I immediately got this feeling of, oh my God, no, I can't do that. Because you know what your fears are. You know what you're being told to do and you don't want to do it. So what the the message here is luck is on your side new moon and sagittarius it's telling you that if you do it you're going to you're going to be successful at it you're going to see things that you couldn't possibly imagine you're going to feel them they're going to be a part of you you're going to be able to grow and expand to new heights but you must do it you must vanquish this you must not be fearful and step into that reality okay luck is on your side there's something much more beautiful on the other end of this everything that you've wanted um just desire you know love comprehension um the partnership it's there you just have to actually do it and stop being so fearful um getting this feeling of uh grow up okay i know that's kind of tough to hear but it's important for you to understand that in order to be someone of influence, you have to risk being offensive. Let me repeat that. In order to be someone of influence, in order to be great, you have to risk being offensive. You have to risk offending people. That is important for some of you, not all of you, but you know, I feel like some, there's just this fear of public speaking. There's this fear of coming out and saying something that should have been said a long time ago. Um, so remember that now let's also, this is everyone's favorite part. It's definitely my favorite part. Um, and it's the messages. Okay. I did these, uh, cards a while ago and, uh, they have messages and these messages are going to, are directed at you from your, um, future person. And let's go ahead and shuffle and see, I'm going to throw three of these cards. Okay, three, three, three of these babies, and let's see what they are gonna say to us. All right, here's the first one. 
I desire something special with you. That is beautiful. I desire something special with you. So I'm going to put it right under the King of Wands. Um, immediate, when I got these two cards for what miracles were going to happen, I just felt like this very strong partnership. You know, it doesn't have to be... Uh, for some of you, this isn't uh, someone that you're going to marry, but it's definitely someone that you're going to have a partnership with. That's for some of you, not all of you. Uh, but this person desires something very special with you, a very special partnership. Um, and let's go ahead and throw more cards. We'll throw another one. And here we are. Oh, <laughs> please marry me. Boy, oh boy. This person wants to lock you up um, in a good way. So they they definitely want marriage. They, they definitely want a family. They want something very special with you. Um, and, and they're willing to work hard to make that a reality. They want to be with you, and they want everything that life has to offer. They want, they want that with you. Um, so definitely a very special message here. And let's throw a third one. Let's see. Oh, boy. You are my soulmate. Come on. Come on, Seekers. You are my soulmate. Unbelievable. Man, that is very special. Um, this person, this future person, really future, I'm just going to say future husband or future wife at this point, they definitely want something very special with you. And um, they want to marry you. They, they're your soulmate. Um, you, know, you two are here to perform something. You two are here to change something great. And there is definitely a sense of great luck. And why is there luck? Be and that's because you, you're leaders, okay? Got the King of Wands. I have the Queen of Cups. You are leaders. You're both leaders. Um, you're filled with love. And this is definitely an energy that's being supported by spirit in these times. Um, these are energies of, of uh, contentment. These are energies that we're moving into. Uh, these energies of the new age, new, higher evolution, higher consciousness. That's the feeling I'm getting with you, too. And, and this is definitely something that you're going to bring into existence. And you're going to do it very quickly, quicker than you possibly imagine. Once this union comes about, it's going to happen quicker. And this is why this future person is telling you to be a little more daring uh, to be a little more out there, to express your truths. They're reminding you of who you are. They're telling you that you're a leader. They're telling you that you are great. They're telling you that you are filled with this magnificent love and this prosperity. Um, so they're telling you to tap into that, okay? Tap into that greatness that you have inside of you. That greatness is definitely something that they want to see in you when the union comes about. So very strong, strong message here from your future person. Um, thank you, Seekers, for watching this Pick a Card Tarot reading. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, I will be creating new content very soon, new Pick a Card videos. Please give me a like. That helps a lot. I opened an Etsy shop. Please visit my Etsy shop. Um, there's a few items that I need to put up, but you can get a personalized reading there. You'll also find the link in the description for that Etsy shop. If you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, you'll find the links to all of them down below in the description. They're Amazon uh, uh, links. And uh, please use those links, Seekers, if you're gonna, if you want to purchase them. It just helps me grow the channel and provide you with quality content. Thank you for all of the great comments you Seekers leave me. I read them all. Thank you for your support and love. If you have any ideas that I can maybe put to good use in this channel, ideas for other videos, do hashtag pick a card in the comment section. Hashtag pick a card. And that way I can go ahead and find you and take those ideas and, and just put them to good use. Uh, apply them for you, Seekers. That, that would really help a lot. So thank you once again. 
拜拜。All right, welcome group number four. All right, so for group number four, um, as always, I like to throw one card, and this is going to be the general theme of this reading. This is a unicorn oracle card. Now, one thing that I forgot to talk to you guys about in the very beginning is um, these cards. I made these index cards, um, and they all have little special messages written on them. You know, I desire something special with you, yada, yada. Uh, but I'm going to throw three of these towards the end of the reading. And this is going to be more of a direct message from your future person. Uh, this love letter from your future person. It's going to be a more direct message. Now, the theme of your reading is friendship. All right. This is a very special unicorn, Seekers. It says, seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Very beautiful, beautiful uh, oracle card. Um, the message is clear. It's telling you to definitely be around the people who you feel are your soul family, so your soul group. Um, you know, and, and for some of you that don't know exactly what a soul family or soul group is, essentially it's the people that you've reincarnated with time and time again that you're working together in this world to bring about a change for yourself, for the people around you, for the world. Um, so it's telling you to connect with them. Now, sometimes it's very difficult to know who they are, but if that if that family keeps on showing up time and time again, if they just don't leave you alone, it's it's the people that truly love you, okay? And the people that you truly love. Essentially, that's the best way of knowing who your soul family is. So, very interesting here. Let's go ahead and throw some energy oracle cards. We're going to try and get an understanding of what other messages let's see what else what else what else do they want you to know <laughs> all right so man there's this i mean we have woman holding a heart and we have happy family okay very special cards here, together with friendship, okay? This is a very serene message. This is just such, there's so much innocence and beauty and love in these three cards that it's it's sometimes, it's sometimes very difficult to put into words. It, it, essentially, it's telling you that um, if there's been any kind of darkness, if there's been any kind of malice, if there's been any kind of misunderstanding, now is the time to put an end to that. Okay, uh, now is the time to just understand that this family, this soul group, is special, and that you have a very small. Because I, the people watching this, for a, a portion of you, and there's a lot of people watching, but for a portion of you, you have a very small family, and it's almost like if you right now are seeing the people in your head, the people that have been there for a long time, the people who you constantly think of. Um, that's your true family, okay? And it's a very small circle. There's not a lot. Um, everyone else, they're just little friends or acquaintances, pretenders, right? But you know who that family is. These are the people that are that will always be there for you, no matter what, okay? You can call them at any time. They will show up. And this is what this reading is telling you. Happy family, woman holding a heart, friendship, seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing. It's important for you to grow with these people. Um, interesting, because this is a message from your future person. So let's try and find out what your relationship has been like and why we are getting this resounding message from your future person to reach out to your soul family and give them love and comprehension and all of the wonderful things that the rainbow has to offer. So let's try and find out um, what that relationship has been like recently. Hmm. Okay, so there's definitely been some fire 
there's been a lot of words that have been uttered. Not necessarily negative, but there have been some things that perhaps they haven't liked about you or you haven't liked about them. And there's been hasty actions and hasty words and, and there's definitely been some misunderstanding, but it's nothing grave. It's nothing that can't be fixed because at the center of this, what you have is my birth card. This is my ultimate, one of my ultimate favorites uh, because it is my birth card. It's the Empress, okay? So, you know, this is uh, a beautiful representation of Mother Earth a beautiful representation of just the relationship and and what you guys have been bringing to each other and what you will bring to each other um, now of course we have the seven of wands which is where I get the the conflict and the and the uprising and the and the issues that you guys are facing there's been some fire um, there, I almost get this feeling like you're hitting them with a stick they're hitting you with a stick so um, and and you know, we need to replace sticks with words because we also have the, the Knight of Swords. So there's been a lot of words. Uh, they say something, you say something. That's what I'm getting this feeling. But it's never to hurt. It's never to injure. It's just, it's always to kind of uplift and, and find truth, the ultimate truth behind the situation. And sometimes when you try and find the truth, it leads to more untruth. And then you have to uncover that you know, what's behind that. Um, so there's this feeling of them getting to know themselves with you and then you misunderstanding them and then they misunderstanding you. It's just the process of life. So there, what you're being told here is to communicate, to give more in that field, in that communication. Um, and, and once you do that, once you communicate more, once you give them that time, that attention, that energy, you're going to notice that Things are going to start coming, becoming clearer, and there's going to be this sense of true love, true prosperity, um, just everything that you can possibly imagine. Imagine that's that's just bliss and calming and soothing in this relationship will come about through this Empress energy. Um, so that this this boy this is out of all the readings, out of all the groups, this one is definitely the most positive so that's a beautiful thing now let's go ahead and talk about um what advice do we have here and for that we're going to use the uh this was the art nouveau tarot this is the star tarot deck let's go ahead oh we have a king of swords coming through what does the king of swords want to say what other advice do you have for us mr king of swords What's coming? Oh. All right. All right, all right, all right. So this King of Swords jumped out. Okay, this is this is your future person. And let me tell you something about your future person. They're feisty, okay? They want to be heard. They're feisty, they're analytical, they're smart, they're intelligent, and they want results quick. Okay? They're not patient people. Um, your future person flew, literally, and uh, flew out because, you know, he wanted to make his presence known. Now, you know, it, it came to us, they came to us as a man, as a king of swords. And what this king of swords is trying to tell us is that you are moving towards this new reality. Um, and this reality is going to be one of serenity, one of peace, one of tranquility. Um, we have this star energy here. Okay, this is the energy that you are going to be moving into, together with this Ace of Pentacles, which we have there, the, the Tree of Life, being in utter prosperity. You have the star right at the center of that Ace of Pentacles, and we have the actual star card right next to it. So. You are moving into this space of true peace, true relaxation, uh, true prosperity. But there's a key, okay? There's a key to this prosperity. There's a key to this truth. It has to come through your soul group, your family, your loved ones, 
the people who you know are going to be there, the people who you know that truly, truly love you, that will forgive you, that uh, will be there for you. You know who these people are. And, you know, with the King of Swords, I immediately think of someone that is analytical, someone who has a, a, a clever, sharp mind. Um, they see things, they think a lot, they're always in their heads. We're right next to the Page of Swords, so um, definitely someone who can communicate effectively what they want. Um, this is your future person. And your future person, let's see, let's throw more cards. I want to throw more cards. We're going to go ahead and use the Moonology Oracle. Because I want to see what your future person wants to, you know, why is it that they made their presence known in this in this way? What messages do they have? And we're going to try and get those keywords from these cards. This Moonology Oracle. All right. Now's your time to speak, Mr. King of Swords. What do you got? <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum. We'll do one more. Confidence is your key to success. Ooh. So now I know why you're the King of Swords came flying out like it was Batman or something. Um, the energy is gaining momentum. So number one, this card tells me that you're King of Swords. Now again, this could be a woman, but they came to us as a King of Swords, so I'm going to keep referring to them as a King of Swords. Um, they're coming for you quick. They're moving. They're moving they're just, they might even be there already, okay? Uh, the King of Swords is definitely present somewhere, or they're watching you, they're observing you, they're around. And um, they would love for you to, they would love to work with you and your family group, which is why their ultimate message is one of love and peace in the family. They're asking, they're demanding this, because you're, I, I, I feel that this King of Swords is a part of your soul group. So, all your destinies are intertwined. Uh, you know, for the people that have a small family group, um, there's not a lot of people around. Understand that the people that are around you, that's your soul group. And your destinies are all intertwined. You will all work together to make something happen. You're going to bring about some kind of change. And the, the last message with the new moon in Leo is confidence is key to your success. Okay? So... Be confident in, in, in what you've decided. Uh, be confident in who you are. Uh, speak your truths. If there's anything that needs to be healed, uh, maybe there's maybe there's some broken hearts. Maybe there's things that have been left unsaid that need to be uh, spoken. Um, definitely do that because this is the energy that you're under right now, this healing energy. And I want to throw some more cards just for general advice. We're going to use the Moon Tarot deck for that. And this is just for some general advice. We'll try and see, you know, if there's anything else that, that we need to pick up on. Nope. It's the same thing. Voice your opinions. We've got the Page of Swords now. So we've got the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so definitely talk, communicate. Confidence is, is key. Uh, there are things that have been left unsaid. There's been a silence that needs to be broken. And that needs to come from you. You need to heal the wounds that have been rippling, that have rippled through. Um, and then definitely communication is key. Misunderstandings should be addressed immediately. So that's what I'm seeing here. And it's a very strict um, command from this uh, future person, this King of Swords. Now, let's go ahead and do what everyone loves. The messages, or at least I hope everyone loves. I have no idea, Seekers, if anybody likes this because no one's commented on these cards but i made these a long time ago and um there's messages written on them this is a direct message from your king of swords um and let's see what this king of swords what else do they want to communicate to you directly Oh, wow. Look at that. I want to give you my deepest self. That is special. Okay. Uh, they want to give everything that they have to give you. They want to give you anything that you desire. Um, this King of Swords is coming for 
you. They're coming for your family. They're coming for everything. They want to be a part of everything that you are a part of. If you make a decision on something, they want to try and help you. They want to try to empower you and give you the tools necessary so that you can grow and move on to that. Um, that's why there can't be any misunderstandings in the family group because they they know that if there's misunderstandings in the family and no one is getting along or you know there's trouble then that's going to be a big hindrance for you you need your family group your soul group they're they're yearning for you and you're yearning for them so definitely the smart thing and the king of swords is a very smart intelligent king the smart thing to do is to heal the wounds so that's the first message we're going to throw two more let's see what else we got <laughs> your talents compliment me wow are you kidding me another very strong message from the king of swords uh you know it's definitely something that it says partnership um you know this doesn't have to be someone that this isn't for everyone this is for just a, a small portion of you Obviously, there's a lot of people watching this, so the message is going to be different and a little bit different for everyone. But this person is a part of your soul group almost for some of you, for just a small portion of you. And they're telling you that your talents together um, is going to bring about something very special. It, there's a there's a you know, you guys complement each other. You're both, I think, analytical human beings and you both can take very strong action. And when you both are working together and coming to uh, some kind of agreement, there's nothing that you two can't accomplish. There's this very energy of just working together and getting things done. Uh, so that's why this card is coming out. Your talents compliment me. Now let's throw one more card. One more card. Let's see what the message here is going to be. Boom. <laughs> Marry me. Oh, boy. So, for a few of you, for, for I think the majority of you, um, this person is coming to marry you they're they're definitely i get the feeling that they want something very special which is why they want you to heal the wounds with your family um which is why they want you to start getting along with these people and um because they they have this sense this feeling of listen you are my wife i know you are um you are definitely someone that i want to spend the rest of my life with and um we are going to just come into this peace this tranquility this prosperity together and i want you to be a part of that so there's a very deep sense of just love comprehension um they want to marry right marry me is what this king of swords is telling us i want to give you my deepest self your talents compliment me very beautiful beautiful message um here so glad I was able to do it for you seekers. Please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will be creating more pick a card tarot videos soon. Please give me a like. That helps a lot. I opened a new Etsy shop. So, you know, you'll find the link in the description below for that Etsy shop. If you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you seekers, you'll find the links below in the description under tarot and oracle cards. Um, Please use those link seekers if you're going to purchase any of these decks. It helps me grow the channel and uh, be able to provide you with quality content. Thank you for all the great comments you seekers leave me. I read them all. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Um, also, you know, if you have any ideas on how I can grow the channel, how I can expand, uh, maybe there's something new that you would like for me to do, please do hashtag pick a card and then put that in the comment section so that I can find that idea uh, or that suggestion. And that way I can I can uh, definitely put it to use uh, in the channel. So thank you, Seekers. Thank you once again. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye.